Huntington Retirement Community is consistently rated one of the best elder care facilities on the West Coast. In here, you'll find a list of amenities that our community has to offer, including group classes, excursions, and of course, 24-hour nursing care. Oh, and this is the yearly price? Oh no, that's the monthly. Uh, <laughs> this is a typo, right? Oh no, <laughs> I'm afraid that top-notch care comes at a cost. I can't afford this. Not until I get that promotion. And you think I can? Well, then you're gonna have to take mom. Why me? Because I can't afford any distractions from work right now, and I'm at the office all day long where you're just sitting around at home in your apartment. Well, excuse me, I'm not sitting, I'm sleeping, because I work a night shift. And besides, you stay in a huge house, I stay in a tiny apartment. <coughs> if I might make a suggestion. Your mother has just lost a husband of 50 years. That is a major life change for anyone, let alone a 72-year-old woman. What your mother needs is stability and 24-hour care. But like my sister said, we can't afford this. Well, maybe you don't need to. You also said one works day and the other one works night. Between you, you've got it covered. Look, your mum is still active and able to do everything on her own. She doesn't need a nurse. She needs her family around her to help her through this transition. Well, thank you yes. so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Okay, we can do that, but if we do, you're going to have to pay me rent. Yeah, 500. No, okay. we'll talk about it. Hey, mum. How did it go? Mm, this place isn't for us, Ma. But Anthony and I discussed it, and we're going to have you move into my place. And I'm going to move in with you guys, so we can all be together. But it's just temporary, though, to see how it goes. Oh, this is wonderful news. Thank you both so much. I, I know this is a terrible imposition on your lives, but it'll be fun. We'll all be together again, and it just made me so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Great, I'm gonna be late for my next meeting. And with Miss Molasses slowing us down, I'm gonna be later. Come on, Mom, please, we gotta go. I'm gonna be at my desk in 20 minutes, okay? My brother will be through that door any second now, and I will be on my way. <gasps> oh! Mama! Mama! I'm sorry. Bob, I gotta call you back. Seriously? It was an accident. <gasps> L let me help. No, no, just stop. Okay, you're gonna slow me down. I'm already late as is. Hey. There you are. Where have you been? Oh, my God. Well, good morning to you, too. <laughs> Picked up a couple extra hours at the job. Oh, my God. They're starting my conference call early. Uh, hey, yo, who's going to pick this up? You are. I got to go. I'm late. Bye. Sorry. Well, isn't that just great? After working a long 10-hour night shift, I got to come home and clean up a mess that I didn't even make. What a life I lead. Ugh. Look at this. This is nasty. Yeesh. There you go. Hi, I'm picking up a prescription for Julie Martin. Mm -hmm. Martin. That will be $225. What? And this is a monthly refill? I'm afraid so. Okay. Looks like I won't be going on that vacation I was saving up for. Thank you. Come on, Mom, let's go. Mm. 
Mom, come on, please. I have places to be. Is this that? Mm, yeah, 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 that one. So, Mom, what is this about? I got some exciting news. I got a call from the nursing home, and they said they're willing to put me in free of charge. You, you kidding, right? No, no, no. It's some new government program. I don't know all the ins and outs, but it's free of charge. <laughs> this is amazing! Yes, this is total godsend. Thank you. Thank you so much. We can go back to our lives. <laughs> I can go back to my life. Don't pretend like you have one. <laughs> hey, don't even come at me like that. You ain't sleeping all day. Hey, be <laughs> quick. hey you want a beer? Mom, you want a beer? I'm gonna get a beer. You no, know, it's not even noon yet. All right. That's, that's everything. Here you go, Ma. You sure you don't need us walking you in? No, no, no. Both of you have done more than enough for me. Besides, I know you're in a hurry to get on your date, so go ahead on now. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye, Mom. All right. Bye, sweetie. See you later, Mom. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, if we can hurry up, you think we can stop at the store and get some wine for me and Vanessa? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, oh, steps. And my house to myself again. Yeah, you gotta stop watching them bumps. <laughs> Yo, look, it's mom's notebook. May I help you? Hi, uh, just want to give this to my mom. She left this in the car. No problem. What's her name? Julie Martin. And I'm not seeing a resident with that name, sir. Oh, no, no, that must be a mistake. Uh, she's part of the new government program. You guys just admitted her. I'm sorry, I don't know of any program like that. Oh, could you just give us a second, please? Yeah, just... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why would mom let us? I don't know. So sit over here. Yeah. It's so weird. We're gonna find some clothes in here, you know? Yeah. Dearest Henry, dearest Henry. Yo, these are all letters to dad. What? Yeah. Look, it's the one when they went to the amusement park together. <laughs> <laughs> um, check her last entry. Good idea. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Dearest Henry, it's been 15 days since I last spoke to you. The longest we ever gone without speaking. I'm not sure to do without you, my love. We wake up together, eat breakfast together, go for walks together. We did everything together. It's been hard with you gone. The only thing that brings me happiness to my life is our children. Tara and Anthony even decided to take care of me together. I couldn't ask for better children. As much as I love the time we're spending together, I could see the burden I've put into their lives. They've already built their own lives, ones without me. So as today, I will no longer be a burden for them. I'll be taking a bus out of town. I'm not sure where I'll be going after that, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. As much as it pains me to lie to our children, I know it's for the best. After all, I want our children to be happy, even if it's without me. Love always, Julie. We need to go. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on, Yo, mom. stop the car. Mom! 
妈，妈，妈。Oh my God. Oh, you had us scared out of our minds. We were so worried about you. How'd you find me? You forgot this in the car. I'm sorry I lied. I just didn't want to be a burden to the two of you. I just want you to be happy. Mom, we're sorry, okay? We were just so selfish and so terrible to you. I'm so sorry. We love you, Mom. The only thing that would make us happy is if you came and stayed with us, okay? Are you sure I won't be a burden? No, you can never be a burden to us, you hear me? Let's start this over. All three of us under one roof, living together. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you both so much. I will now read the last wishes of your mother, Kathy Waters. Here we go. <laughs> After careful reflection on my life and my family's values. I, Kathy Waters, being of sound mind and body, hereby leave the entirety of my state to my daughter, Rosa Waters. I are hereby you declare me? that. What are you trying to pull here? I'm sorry, but these are your mother's wishes. The hell sorry. it is. We are her real children, not her. Rosa was adopted. She isn't even blind. There is no way our mother left us with nothing. Be that as it no, may, I'm afraid that this will is legally binding. Your mother's estate will be going to Rosa. This is all you're doing, isn't it? Me, I didn't know anything about this. Oh, you didn't? Huh? I've had my eyes on you ever since you weaseled your way into our family. Weaseled my way? I was three when your mother adopted me. Yes, and you've been trying to get your hands on our money ever hey, since. Hey, 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 no, calm down, calm down. Calm down. This is a place of business. Calm. Yes, calm down. Just found out we were robbed of our birthright. This. Isn't over by a long shot. Mark my words, you'll be homeless in the streets by the time my lawyers are done with you. No, no, Emily, let's go. Move. End up being in another moment. Mom, why would you do this? <laughs> Happy birthday, dear mom. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh wow, you baked it yourself. <laughs> you think I was going to get you a store-bought cake on your birthday? <laughs> Not a chance. All right. So let's light up these candles so I can taste your masterpiece. Oh, we can't. Charles and Emily aren't here. I doubt if they're actually coming. Come on, Mom. They're not gonna miss your big day. You don't have to pretend with me, Rosa. I know who my children are. I have one wonderful daughter and two ingrates who only show up when they think that there's something in it for them. Hey, they're not all that bad, okay? Maybe they just got caught up with work. You know how Charles can get with his job. Yes, yeah, sure. I don't know how I got it so wrong with the two of them, but I got it so right with you. I tried to love you all equally. Mom, you did great, okay? No, no frown faces on your big day. <laughs> so let's light this up. If we wait any longer, we'll have to put another candle on it. <laughs> <clears throat> Mother, are you? Oh, you made it! We were just about to light the candles. Made what? Oh, <laughs> it's Mom's birthday. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes, happy birthday, Mother. <laughs> happy birthday. All right, dear. I can see that this is not. A birthday present for me, <clears throat> so you can cut it. Why are you two really here? Well, <laughs> we just came from meeting with your attorney about your estate. Hmm. So you're 
counting your money before the body's even cold? No, 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 Mother, stop. We're just being prudent. Well, with your operation and everything next week, we just wanted to make sure everything was in line, you know, just in case. Yeah, we just want to make sure that your wishes are followed before you... Oh, croak. No, mother, come on. Come on now. Don't be so crass. Listen, this is just simply the procedure to make sure your children are properly taken care of. Well, fear not. I've already talked to my attorney, and he knows what my plans are, and he understands what I wish to leave to all of my children. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's light the candles then. Yes, uh, <laughs> let's do that. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, this is an important business call. We have an appointment client in this week, and well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go. Me too. Yeah. I have dinner plans with Marcy, and Charles is my ride. That, that is it, yeah. Well, that can't is. you guys just wait till after the cake cutting? You know what? I would if I could. But unfortunately, this client is way too important to leave waiting, so, Mother, I'm sorry I have to leave. Happy birthday. Mm. <laughs> love you, love you. Love you, kisses. Yes. Mm. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Go, 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 go. All right. I, I just... What did I tell you? They don't love me. Not really. They only care about getting their hands on my money. No, no, they do love you. They're just really bad at showing it. Why do you spend so much time defending them? They wouldn't do that for you. <laughs> Maybe so. But we're still family. Listen, honey. Family is about love, not just blood. Remember that. All right. All I really want the money that I leave behind to do is make a positive influence on the world. But if they get their hands on it, what do you think they'll do with it? Hey, you know what? Let's go light those candles. All right, well, okay. <laughs> Before I turn 70. Okay, all right. <laughs> What are you doing here? This is an injunction our lawyer will be filing in the morning to prevent you from having access to the money until we have our say in court. You're filing an injunction against me? If you even think about withdrawing a cent of that money, we will sue you into bankruptcy. We have the lawyers to do so. Look, I I'm sorry. Can we take a pause on all the legal stuff and properly mourn our mother? Don't! You call her that! She wasn't your real mother! We know you've been waiting for this moment for years. For all we know, you had something to do with her death. Wait, what? How could you say something like that? What are we supposed to think, Rosa? Huh? You just waltz right into our family lives, and then you cozy right up to our ailing mother, and then you steal our birth. I didn't steal anything, and I didn't waltz into this family. I was a child when mother adopted me. I loved her. <laughs> then prove it. This document forfeits your right to our mother's estate. If you loved her like you say you did, then you will make sure her actual children get what they're owed. I was you, I'd make sure I'd sign that document before we meet your mother's attorney in the morning. Or else, it's gonna get real ugly for you. 
and really expensive. Do you understand? She was probably trying to steal more of our inheritance. <laughs> Actually, I was signing these. Rosa, you're doing the right thing. Even though you try to steal our money, we'll make sure you're taken care of once all the dust settles. Well, everything looks in order. Okay. It's a little surprising, but... I think your mother is going to be really proud of you, Rosa, for what you're doing. Of course she would. I mean, we are family, after all. So, when do we get our checks? Oh, I didn't sign those documents. I decided to put the money towards something else. Wait, wait, oh no. According to your sister's wishes, she'd like your mother's estate. She's she not like... our sister. Rosa is gifting your mother's estate. Giving? to the Saving Grace Adoption Foundation. It's one of your mother's favorite organizations. And where she found me. So you're giving our money away? How could you? Mom said she always wanted her money to have a positive impact on the world. I couldn't think of a more fitting organization than the one that fulfills her wishes. This is crazy. No, What's crazy is the way you treated our mother. She loved you both so much and you treated her like an ATM. How dare you? No, how dare you? If you had spent any moment with our mom, you would have known that this is what she would have wanted. How do you know what she wanted? You're not even her real daughter. Family is more than just blood. It's also love. And I loved our mom with all my heart, and I know she loved me too. Now listen to another second of this. Just, I'm just sick of it. before, like, Mom comes. What are you doing here? Mom, relax. Relax? I have been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to meet me 30 minutes ago. Gee, if only I had a phone that I'm always asking you for, then maybe you could find me faster. Don't you dare give me attitude, young lady. Listen to me. You are too irresponsible for a phone. And I told you not to cut your hair. And I decided to get it cut anyways. It's my hair. I want to get it cut for our family vacation next week. What you want isn't what goes. What I say goes. Let's go. Let's go. Stop it, Mom. You are embarrassing me. You can't always be telling me what to do. I can. And oh, are you so grounded when you get home? That's not fair. Life's not fair, Kate. <laughs> I said that's enough. You are so grounded. You are unbelievable, Mom. Do you know how embarrassing you are? Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? You married a dictator. That's what's wrong. Do you see? Hey, hey, hey. Did you see that? Are you two fighting again? You'll never believe it. I told her specifically not to cut her hair. And where did I find her? A hair salon. Is that such a big deal? I mean, what's the harm? What's the harm? I gave her instructions that she did not follow. Honey, it's just a haircut. It's not about the haircut, okay, David? It's about her breaking the rules again. As long as she lives in this house under our roof, she's following our rules. Honey, okay? I really need you to support me on this. We're supposed to be a team. Thank you both for sitting down with me. What's going on? Well, you two have been fighting more and more recently, and I thought it would be very important 
They set some common grounds. <laughs> common ground? There is no common ground. It's always, always what she wants. Well, watch yourself, young Hey, man. let's both just settle down, okay? I called this family meeting because starting tomorrow morning, you both are gonna switch roles with each other for the entire day. What? Have you lost your mind? Role playing is a very common therapeutic tool. Besides, both of you would very much benefit from seeing each other's perspective. You should never judge anyone until you can walk a mile in their shoes. I, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way I'm doing this. Yeah, me neither. I was afraid this you... was gonna happen and that's why I brought these. Unless you guys both do this, I'm canceling our family vacation. What? You can't do that. You can't be serious, David. You already paid the deposit? I will happily eat our deposit if it means getting my two girls to work through their problems. You're saying that I get to tell her what to do her whole day? No, that's not what you say. But it also means that you have to do everything that your mother does for our family every day as well. Ha! <laughs> Gee, there's no way she can do that. It's... Whatever. I'm sure it's going to be easier than having you riding my back all day. Oh, is it? So? We're all in agreement. Agreed. Oh, it's on. Oh, good morning, daughter. You know you're not responsible enough for a phone. And you're too young to drink coffee. Come on, you can't do that. Oh, I can. I think the saying goes, my house, my rules. Well, if this is your house, here's a list of things you need to do today. You do all this in one day? You better get started. Oh, I will. And it'll be a piece of cake. And that reminds me, you're technically grounded. So go to your room. I'm making food. You're making a mess. Oh my God, you have to clean this up. I'm just trying to remember the last time you cleaned up after yourself. No. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. Ooh, this was good. Fine, go to your room and don't come back out. Why would she go in the tower in the first place? Stupid. Yes. Oh no. Grounded means grounded. Come on. I'm bored. You gotta look. I gotta have a little TV. I have the perfect thing. Here you go. Something to keep you occupied. Oh no, I, I am not doing your math homework for you, no. Oh, you won't be. Technically, this is your math homework for the day, so uh, I expect a demo for dinner. It'll be a breeze. I don't remember this stuff. Oh no. No, 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 no. Is everything all right out there? Oh, fine, everything's fine. Just keep focusing on that math work. Did they change math? I mean, nothing here makes any sense. 
That's because I'm an advanced calculus. It's not supposed to be easy. I, I guess I didn't realize how hard things were for you. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm starting to realize that being you probably isn't the easiest thing in the world either. Uh, this looks interesting. It's the best I can do, okay? You have no idea what kind of day I had. How was your day, honey? Horrible. I've never been so bored in my life. Do you two have anything to say to each other? I'm sorry. I did not realize how overbearing and how overprotective I am of you. Sorry. I'm sorry too. You definitely don't have it easy and my constant backtalk definitely doesn't help. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. I even love your chicken. <laughs> All right. It looks like our family vacation's back on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for our family vacation? Absolutely. <laughs> ah. I'm not excited for the five hour plane ride, though. Maybe this will help. Really? <laughs> Why not? I realize that you're way more responsible than I ever gave you credit for. Oh, thank you so much, Mom. I love you, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just leave us. Watch me. Marcus, we need you. Yeah, well, we don't always get what we need, do we? What are we supposed to do without you? You'll figure it out. I spent the last 15 years sacrificing. And what has it gotten me, huh? A sick wife and a loser for a son. I'm tired of it. It's time I start living life for myself. I'm done letting you two get in the way of me living the life I deserve. Deserve? We are your family. Not anymore. If you leave now, don't you ever try to come crawling back to us. <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Mom. It's gonna be okay. Hey, hey, Charles, over here. Whoa, stop right there. Don't but, get any closer. But, but, but I, I know him. I know him. It's okay. I think he's my father. <laughs> wow, look at you, son. All grown. I heard you're, uh, you're a real big shot now. Some sort of um, real estate developer? Yeah, I do okay for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that car you drive. I'm just so proud of you, son. Look, uh, I'm in a little bit of a, a jam, uh, financially speaking, and uh, I figure since you have money, you might be able to help me out. How much do you need? Hundred grand. Sure. I can do that. But not right now. I'm on my way to a meeting. Meet me at my house tonight, and we'll talk about what you need. 
Thank you, son. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. You have my money yet? I'm just about to. Don't worry. You'll have your money by tomorrow. No later. I promise. This is your last chance. I don't need to explain what'll happen if you don't have my money tomorrow. Place you got here. Thank you. Hey, it's been a long time, huh? It has. What have you been up to after all this time? Uh, to be honest, uh, things haven't gone the way I thought they would. Times have been tough. I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry too for leaving you and your mother like that. It wasn't right. I know that now. And I'm sure sorry to hear about your mother passing. God, she was a great woman. I wasn't sure you'd heard about that. Yeah, I still keep my ear to the grapevine. I only wish I could have done more for her at the end, you know? Well, you're not here for small talk, are you? You're here for some money, right? It sure would help me out of a jam. Let me get that for you. Hundred thousand is all you need, right? It is. Thank you so much, son. Listen, before I give you this, I first need you to tell me what else you heard about mom and I after you left. Oh, um, not much. I'd hear things every now and now and then, but nothing too specific. Well, let me fill you in then. You see, when you left. You took all but $100 with you. Which meant mom had to give up her treatments just to put food on the table. I had to work two jobs, one before school and one after, in order to help us keep the house. But even then, that wasn't enough. Stopping her treatment, combined with the stress of our situation, landed mom in the hospital weeks at a time. Her condition worsened over the next few years. And each hospital stay only added to our growing mountain of debt. When she passed away, we were over $300,000 in debt. And the months of not paying rent finally caught up to me. I lost the house. I had to live on the streets, going to school during the day and collecting cans at night. After living on the streets for two years, I landed my first job. It took me four years of hard work to finally pay off all that debt. And another five to build my business what it is today. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all that, son. I know I wasn't there for you then, but I'm here now. You're here now? What, what makes you think I need you now? What does that mean? Where were you when mom was dying, huh? And where were you when I was working three jobs to pay off all of our debts? That's when I needed you most and you weren't there. So I ask again, what makes you think I need you now? I, uh, I don't know what to say, son. That's because there's nothing to say. Because you know I don't need you. Not anymore. Now, wait a second. I supported you for 15 years. I deserve something for that, don't I? Deserve? Yes, deserve. I'm still your father, after all. <laughs> a father is someone who's there when it counts. 
You weren't. So for all I know, I don't have a father. So what? You're not gonna help me out now? I need that money. It's like you said the day you left. We don't always get what we need. Daddy, come see this. Okay, son, I'll be right there. I'm just walking this man out. I have a grandson? No, you don't. Come on, son. Let me just meet him. Son, come on. Charles, Charles! I finally told him, Mom, you can rest easy now. Maybe if you lost a little weight, you could finally wear some of those nice tops I got you. You should start running, or else you're gonna get stuck in this size. All right, let's get a move on. Bus is gonna be here in 10 minutes. Is that what you're wearing? Is there something wrong with it? It's just so mannish. I'm just saying it wouldn't hurt if you dressed a little more girly. You know that's what boys like. They don't like whatever this is. Hello? This is Vice Principal Sanders at Twin Oaks High. I'm calling about your daughter, Emily. Is everything okay? I'm afraid there's been an incident. We need you to come down to the school as soon as possible. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I I'm on my way. We have strict rules about fighting at Twin Oaks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to suspend Emily for the rest of the week. I hope you're proud of yourself. This is outrageous. It was Alyssa's fault. She called I don't want to hear it. You have done enough to embarrass me today. Emily, would you mind just waiting outside, please? I would like to share Emily's most recent report card. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. And we haven't shared this with the parents yet. But I just gotta ask you, is everything all right with Emily? She was a top student once. I don't know, but I can assure you she will be dealt with as soon as we get home tonight. I hope you don't see this as a reflection on my parenting. <sighs> what were you thinking? It wasn't my fault. Oh, it was a rhetorical question. Clearly, you weren't thinking. I hope you know you're grounded for two weeks. I'm just going through a lot right now, okay? Oh, please, Emily. You're a 15-year-old child. Your life is not that difficult. And what are you even doing in school all day? Are you trying at all? Look at these grades. They are shameful. You know Janet's kids get straight A's? I know this because she brags about them every single time I see her. What am I supposed to do with this, huh? <sighs> Janet is never gonna let me hear the end of this. You better figure something out, and quickly, because I am not gonna let your bad grades embarrass me in front of the entire neighborhood. They're gonna think I'm a bad mother. Is that what you want? Don't you realize how much your actions reflect on me? Oh, you're grounded for three weeks now, young lady. <sighs> Sweetie, I think we should talk. Emily?
If you're reading this, I'm already gone. You see, at school, the girls make fun of me for my clothes, my looks, and at home, you criticize my body, my grades. I can't win or even escape from feeling judged all the time. Whenever I've tried to talk to you about what I'm going through or try to get help with my homework, you either ignore me or tell me you're too busy to listen. I've had to keep everything bottled up inside and it's just building and building until yesterday when Alyssa made fun of my outfit for the hundredth time. I tried to walk away, but she pushed me. So I had to defend myself. I never meant to be a burden in your life. At least when I'm gone, you won't have to worry about me embarrassing you ever again. Maybe it'll make things easier. treating you. I have been selfish and, and self-centered, and I had no idea what you were going through. But I should have. I should have known. But I promise you things are going to be different from now on, okay? I'm so sorry. But won't all the other parents judge you for having a burden of a daughter? Come here. I need you to know something. You are not a burden. You're a blessing. And I'm so sorry for making you feel that way. I'm so sorry, Emily. I love you so much. Thank you, Mom. That means a lot to me. You sure you don't care what Shannon has to say? <laughs> no way. Besides, I got your back, no matter what. <sighs> now let's get you home, baby girl. Oh, wait, we're eating hamburger helper again? I'm sorry, sweetie, but that's all we can afford right now. You know, when I was a kid, there was days that we didn't even have any food. So, what's that got to do with me? Well, all I'm saying is sometimes you don't know what you got until it's gone. I mean, I would have killed to have some hamburger helper when I was at your age. Okay, whatever. Did you know that your dad and I actually met when we were your age? I remember it like it was yesterday. And you were still wearing the same bracelet. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. Mama was in the cafeteria, she was the new girl, yada yada. And I didn't know where to sit at lunchtime and there's this really cute boy named Joey who asked me to sit by him. <laughs> and he complimented me on my hair. And, and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about something that doesn't want to make me puke. Maybe like a new iPhone? What about it? Oh, yeah. Hey, um, yeah, when can I get a new upgrade so I don't have to use this piece of crap? <gasps> Brandon, you know our situation. We will get you a new phone as soon as possible. But everyone else has one. This is so dumb. Hey! Watch that tone, young man. You two are so annoying. I wish you two never met. Gosh, damn. Like everyone else has PS5s, new shoes, and new phones. My parents are the worst. 
Are you even listening? I'm sorry, I've, I've just, I've finally figured this out. What is that? It's a time machine. Yeah, right. I swear, no, it, it works. I wish it did, man. I would go back 25 years ago and make it to where my parents never met. Man. Are you serious, bro? All you have to do is type in how many years you want to go back in the past and hit the call button. When you are ready to come back to the present, just hit the pound key and uh, pull again. Like you, Neil, out of all people, figured out time travel. Okay, let's see this. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put this thing on, right? <gasps> Press these buttons right here, and then magically just... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, man. Neil, I had the craziest dream. Oh my gosh. It worked! Joey, make a move already. Lay off, I will. Dad? Well, you better hurry. All right, she's the new girl in school. All right, so you better act fast before she meets someone else. I you're not the only guy who's into her. I get it. Do you? Ew. Wait a minute. They haven't met yet. All right, let's see, who do we have? My old man's passing down his multi-million dollar company to me once he decides to hang up his boots. You're lucky, man. Hey, what's up, man? Huh. <laughs> do I know you? Yeah, I've, I'm your future s Never mind. Uh, see that pretty girl right there? She is super into you, man. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Never talked to her before. Uh, yeah, well, uh, she's new. Her name's Libby. You should go introduce yourself, like right now. <laughs> I don't know anything about her. Okay, well, uh, her favorite color's purple. Um, she's a Gemini, she loves pickleball, and her favorite movie is Legally Blonde, okay? All right. What's pickleball and Legally Blonde? Uh, just compliment her hair and she'll love you, okay? All right, go for it, man. Hey, Joey, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you are? Um, not important. Later, fam. <laughs> Later, fam? <laughs> you see? Neil! Dude, it worked, man. I introduced my mom to someone else, and whoa, why do I sound like this? Uh... It's not just how you sound. Oh! I got the new iPhone? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, you have a new dad. What did you expect? I'm rich? Oh, this is fire. And I've got a maid? Hey. <laughs> no way! I have a PS5? And an Oculus? Neil the genius! <laughs> yes! How dare you your life, Martha, mostly your mother. What do you want from me? You promised you would change. Oh, come on, Lib. Every rich, successful man cheats. You know what you signed up for when you married me. I married you because I loved you. Not so you could betray me every chance you get. <laughs> this was the last straw. I want a divorce. Fine. Hope you enjoy losing everything. Did you forget about our little prenup? I don't care about your money but I'm taking Brandon with me. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Well, I wonder what the judge is going to think 
when I tell him you have been unfaithful our entire marriage. If you learn nothing, I have all the money. I have all the lawyers. You have nothing. Everything you have is because I bought for you. This house, your whole little life, it's all mine. And you can believe me when I say that you're never going to see Brandon again. Now get out of here. So, uh, how's the new life? Seems like it's uh... terrible. I was way off setting my mom up with that jerk. Oh. Jeez, I'm sorry. So, uh, what are you gonna do now? The only thing I can do, go back in time. She help? <sighs> I've gone through so many dads, and every time my life gets worse. Way worse. Well, you can't keep trying to get it right forever. In fact, based on my calculations, you have two jumps left. Oh. Uh, one jump. Yeah, nah, you got one jump left, and it'll automatically bring you back here before it dies. You will have no control over it. I mean, zero. What? All right, well, looks like I better make this one count. Come on, school's over. Computer lab's closed. Scram. Over? But can't be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sent me to the wrong boy in time? Huh? <gasps> so, tonight? No, no, no. I'm too late. You and me? If I can just go back in time a little further, This is bad. Real bad. Oh. Hey, you know Joey, right? Uh, yeah. What's up? What's up? Doesn't matter. Do you know where he is? Like right now? No. My whole future depends on this, man. Oh, it's you. Oh, 
Finally. Do I know you? Yes and no. But there's no time for that hey, because... What? Whoa. This is where you live? You're having cereal with water? It's what we got. Anyway, I need you to come with me, like right now. What? Where? Uh, you know Libby, right? The new girl? She really wants you to ask her out on a date. Like now. Really? Yeah. And, and, and go where? Uh, the mall. Because she has another day and you have to ask her before the other day asks her. Other day? Yeah. Uh, I'll explain on the way. Wait, do you have any other clothes, maybe? Without holes in it? Uh, no, not really. Come on, come on. Oh, perfect. She's alone. I'm just supposed to go up to her and say what? Uh, compliment her hair. Oh, and mention her braided bracelet. Don't worry, the rest will take care of itself. How can you be so sure? Just trust me. Okay. Oh no. What? Okay, listen. I'm gonna distract him. You go talk to Libby, okay? And don't screw this up. Both of our futures are riding on it. Okay? What does that mean? Hey, Richie, right? Um, I have a really important message uh, from your dad. It's, it's about your, uh, Inheritance! What are you talking about? Um, look man, he uh, needs to talk to you, like, right now. Yeah, he said, uh, if you don't go home, dude, you're out of his will. Everything's gone. <sighs> Sorry, man. Uh, what? No. No. No, 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 please, it's too soon. Not yet, no, no, no! Thank you, God! It's all back to normal! You're back! Oh my gosh. Well, you're in a good mood today. <laughs> Look, um, son, uh, your mom and I have been talking and we feel really bad about the whole phone. I, I don't care. I don't care about the phone, or the shoes, or the food, or any of it. I'm just so happy you two are my parents. I love you guys so much. Oh, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> we love you too. What changed? You were so mad at us earlier. <laughs> I guess I just realized... Sometimes you don't know what you have until it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a big uh, change of heart. Just one day. Well, feels a little bit longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. Hi, I'm Delilah from Sunny Skin. I'm here for the spray tan. Spray tan? No, no, you have the wrong address. Are you sure? Is there not a Chloe Myers that lives here? Chloe called you. She never said anything about a spray tan. I'm sorry, just give me a sec. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm dyeing my hair. No, you are not dyeing your hair. You are way, way too young to be coloring your own hair. The blonde is in right now. Even Dixie D'Amelio just went blonde. I don't care if Dixie Cup or whoever is blonde. You are not coloring your hair. And would you mind telling me why somebody named Delilah is at the door right now? Delilah's here? No, no, hold on, wait. Why are you trying to get a spray tan? You have never done anything like this before. Hello? Earth to my daughter. Who is texting you? What are you doing? Can you, like, not look at my phone? Gosh. If you have to know, I'm going on a date with Lil Pop's phone. Lil Pop? Mm -hmm. You mean the rapper with the gold teeth who flunked out of Bookside? No, absolutely not. No, 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 you are not going out with him. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. I am your mother. 
And besides, even if you were allowed, which you are not, tomorrow's Mother's Day. We had the whole day planned. We were gonna do pancakes for breakfast, go to Darla's for lunch, and we were gonna make your fettuccine Alfredo. Well, not anymore. I'm going out with a little pup tomorrow. No move, I need to let Delilah in. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, come on in. No, I won't allow it. I'm sorry, but you need to go. Mom, stop, you're embarrassing me. Listen to me, young lady. You are not dyeing your hair. You're not getting a spray tan, and you are certainly not going on a date with Lil Pop. Stop trying to control me. I'm 16 years old now, not a little girl. I don't have to listen to your dumb rules. Rules are not dumb. They are important. And as long as you live under my roof, you will listen to my rules and abide by them. Then I won't live under your roof anymore. How about that? Did you just say little pop? Isn't that guy in like juvie three times? Exactly. And Chloe wants to go on a date with him tomorrow. Can you believe it? Maybe she'll let her go. What? Have you lost your mind? Hear me out. Remember when our parents used to say to us when we were kids, the only way to learn to not get burned is to By poop. touching the stove. Exactly. And the point they were trying to teach us is that everyone has to learn from their own mistakes. So what you're saying is you want our daughter to get burned? Not literally, figuratively. Linda, look, I know it's hard, okay? But you guys fight all the time. Every other week she wants to move out. The more that you're trying to control her, the more it's working against you. This time, let her see for herself. All right, I'm out. I'm going to stay with Stacy. Okay. That's it? You're not gonna warn me about how I'm ruining my life or try to stop me? Nope, I, I won't get in your way. This is gonna work. Trust me. <gasps> She's driving me crazy. I told her I was staying at your house if that's cool with you. Yeah, but um, tomorrow's Mother's Day. Don't you wanna spend it with your mom? No, I'm so done with her. Oh, by the way, I was gonna get a spray tan and dye my hair before my mom went berserk on me. Is it cool if I do the hair? Sure. <laughs> You're the best. This is gonna be the best weekend ever. I'm so excited. Okay. Just try to stay calm. School's not until tomorrow, right? And your date's not until tonight. So we can we can we can fix this. 
Let's start with your hair. Yeah, we could, we could go to a salon. No, oh, I can't afford a salon. Maybe I don't, should I dye something else? Yeah, let's, let's go to the bullseye. Okay, but I'm waiting in the car. Okay. I hope she's okay. I really thought she'd come home this morning. Yeah, I know, honey. But look, gotta stick with the plan, okay? Okay, I'll mix it. You just go shower and scrub off as much of the tan as you can. Perfect. Just the best. <laughs> Hello? Hey, are you ready to order? Um, actually, could I just get the check for my lemonade? Thanks. Uh, hey, how did it... Can you please explain to me how the heck this happened? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I mixed everything perfectly, just like it said in the instructions. I look like freaking Marge Simpson now. Nobody wants to date Marge Simpson. And look at my body. Only some of the spray tan came off. Now we just have orange spots everywhere. Okay, I, try not to panic. I mean, we still have time. We can fix this. Great. Now he wants to meet earlier. Oh. I'm doomed. <laughs> Chloe? Oh. She still hasn't called. Maybe I should... No, don't call her. Look, she's gonna come around, I promise. Look, I brought some food. But Chloe's supposed to make me fettuccine Alfredo. Why, why are you dressed like that? Uh, it's a long story. But if you want to know... <laughs> I know, it's horrible, right? I mean, it's not good. <laughs> but luckily, no one here really knows me. Hi. Here are a couple of menus. No rush. I'll check on you. Actually, I am in a rush. <laughs> Take the steak. Rare. Black blood pouring out of it when I cut it. <laughs> you do it. Okay. And for you? Uh, let me see. She'll do the chicken. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> for real? Like, like, you only eat plants and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, She'll do that uh, that one, so named after that that dude. What was his name? What was his name? The Caesar salad. Bingo. As the one. <sighs> I didn't even get a chance to look at the menu. I know. Like I said, I gotta see my ma, so kind of in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have to go to Stacy's and check on Chloe. No, I, I'm just gonna tell her. I don't care if you wanna dye your hair. I don't care if you wanna get a spray tan. I don't even care if you wanna date some creepy guy. I just want my baby back. That's all that matters. Linda. Here you go. Enjoy your dinner. Bring the check when you come back around, okay?
Ooh. Extra bloody. Just how I like it. <laughs> Come on. Gotta eat your food, Becca. Becca? My name's not Becca. Uh, I, I didn't say Becca. I said babe. If you don't like your salad, try a bite of this. <laughs> Ooh, yum. This fettuccine Alfredo looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks again for bringing me here. Of course, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, babe. Sorry, I'm early. I didn't realize you'd be here so early. Who are you? Who are you? I am Becca. Lil Pop's date. And as far as I'm concerned, you're in my seat. I thought you were meeting your mom later. <laughs> this is why he moved our date. Do you have any idea what I went through for this date? I fought with my mom. I ruined my hair. Look, Charlie, I'm not trying to be me, but have you looked in the mirror? Why would I want to be seen with your Oompa Loompa looking self? I mean, you should just scurry on back to Wonka's factory where you belong. <laughs> Maybe I do look like an Oompa Loompa, but at least I'm not some trashy wannabe rapper. Oh, and since I don't want the salad that you so graciously ordered for me, you can have it. <laughs> Mom, it's, it's Mother's Day. I've got the dishes. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. Oh, it's probably Chloe. I'll get it. Oh. Linda, hi. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. You too. Um, I was wondering, is Chloe here? No, I thought you knew. She's out with, um, Little Pop? I think that's his name. Right. I was just hoping she'd be home by now. Yeah. I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. Oh, you're not interrupting anything, and you're more than welcome to come inside. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. You have a good evening. Okay, thank you, too. You're home. Sweetheart, what happened to... I know, I know, I look horrible. Turns out you were right about everything. I realize now that rules aren't dumb. They're important. And if I had just listened to you, this nightmare of a day wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, Mom. I hope it isn't too late for us to celebrate. I made your favorite, fettuccine Alfredo. It is never too late for my daughter's famous pasta. Oh, This is turning out to be a much better Mother's Day than how it started. How about first thing in the morning, I take you to a salon and get all of this figured out. But I have school tomorrow. I can't miss. I know you said rules are important. They are, but this is a very special case, so I will make an exception. <laughs> is it really that bad? <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Oh. I love you. I love you more. Is that? Oh, it, no, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's just a silly hobby. <laughs> you know, I always wondered what it would be like to ride in a Rolls Royce. Oh, no, uh, actually, this is, this is not, this is, uh,
You were saying? Um. What are you doing on Christmas Eve? I guess hanging out with you. Yeah. I'm Holly, by the way. Drew. Yeah, maybe I can. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello? So sorry, sir. Yes, right this way, yeah. Hey, Holly, why don't you go over there and make us some protein shakes, you know, for the trainers. Got to take care of my boys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just came to say sorry about yesterday. For lying to me? I didn't lie. Look, okay, look, look, look. I'm not some mega millionaire who owns a Rolls Royce. I don't live in a mansion or have some lavish lifestyle. I'm a chauffeur. I make 26 an hour and I have a one bedroom apartment. But I'd still like to take you out on a date <laughs> if, if, if you're willing to give me a second chance. You first tried to impress me with a car that isn't yours, and now you're going with some sob story? I never said it was my car. You certainly never said it wasn't. Oh, wow, you, you, you're giving me a hard time, and you're, you're on some sugar daddy website. Don't act like you're some angel either, Holly. The only reason you're interested in me is because you thought I'd drive a nice car. You were just looking for another rich guy so you could get a Gucci bag. That's pathetic. Hey, watch it. You don't know anything about me. You're right. I don't. And I don't want to either. Let's just pretend we never met. Good. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Didn't you eat with your dad? No. You didn't feed her? No. You asked me to watch her while you were at work. You didn't say anything about feeding her. You're her dad, Gabe. I only asked you to watch her because I'm at work and my mom can't. Don't you think? I don't need another one of your lectures. All right, this is why I left you. If you can't appreciate me, then don't ask me to watch her next time. Let's go get you something to eat, huh? Yeah. Leave me alone, and I want to talk to you. Look, I didn't know you had a daughter. Yeah, like I said, you don't know anything about my life. You're right, I don't. And, and I am really sorry about what I said earlier. Who was that guy? Some deadbeat dad that barely helps with anything. Hey, pop your hood. I'll pull my car around. I'm sorry, too. You were right. I am looking for a rich guy, but not by choice. My original goal was to be a personal trainer. I got my certification in everything. 
But when I asked my boss for a promotion, he said no. Because nobody here wants a female trainer. I didn't know what else to do. With the $15 an hour that I make here, I could barely pay rent. I haven't even been able to get a present for my baby girl for Christmas. So that's the reason I, you know, I signed up for that site. I figured getting paid to go on dates beats my baby girl being hungry, you know? I actually think I have a solution for both of our problems. Okay, so all I have to do is act like we're together to make your family happy? Mm hmm yeah, that's it. And, and I'll, I'll pay you as soon as we get back. I don't know why you care so much about what your family thinks, but I guess it's not my problem. I get nervous when flying, so I'm just gonna try and sleep. Oh, yeah. Thanks. All right, just, just to warn you, my family can be a bit, uh... Mm -hmm. Drew, welcome home. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, and who's this? Mm -hmm. I thought you were joking when you said you were gonna bring a girl home. Oh, and how pretty are you? Would you look at that? I'm Drew's mom, Lisa Johnson. What's your name, sweetie? I'm Holly. It's oh, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Holly. Uh, Holly. Don't, don't, don't give her your full name. My mom's a little investigator. I am not. Stop it. Don't listen to him, please. Come on in, guys. Yeah, just send the file. I'll take a look at it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. we need to iron this out before the new year. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> there he is. Hi, right, son. Good to see you. Wow, I'm surprised we didn't have to buy you a ticket this year. Being a valet pays better than I thought. <laughs> I'm actually a chauffeur. Is there a difference? <laughs> oh, guess what? Your brother could use a chauffeur. His career has really taken off. He hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my other son, Craig. Uh, He's flying in tonight. Mm. Studied psychiatry at Harvard. Top of the class. <laughs> he published a book that made it to the New York Times bestseller list. You can have it all. How to be smart, successful, and have a happy marriage. He is amazing. Th that's a lot. Yeah, well, honey, I'm sure you guys are tired, so why don't you go on back, Drew? We set up your old room. Go on back and relax while I finish dinner. All right? All right, All right. thank you. <laughs> oh, you can leave those here, honey. I'll take them back for you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Oh, oh, please, uh, ignore those. <laughs> you got real talent, Drew. I don't understand why you haven't done anything with this. That was a dream. It was to, you know, go to art school and be an animator. Uh, reality, that's, that's just one big waste of time. Is that what your family tells you? You need to relax. You're overreacting, Chloe. No, I'm not. You're always trying to gaslight me, cred. That's my brother. Doesn't seem like that happy couple on the cover of that book. Seems a bit hypocritical. Welcome to my family. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call Drew my boyfriend yet, at least, but um, yeah, that's how we met outside of my gym. That's cute. And which gym was it again? Oh, um, it's the one that's in between- Really, Club? You're not gonna put none on my plate? 
If you wanted some, you could have just asked. Do you ask me to pay the bills? No. I just do them. Oh. Oh. Is everything okay, Dad? I'm just uh, putting out fires as always. Could have wait till after dinner. It's Christmas Eve, you know? They, they can't expect you to respond now, right? <laughs> See, you know your problem is you don't know about work ethic. When I was becoming a VP, do you think I took off weekends and holidays? No. What about your brother? How did he become a successful bookseller? Huh? Did you work nine to five? Nah, more like 24 seven. Exactly. If you want to be successful, you have to work hard. Something you know nothing about. Drew works hard. Yeah, if, if he isn't driving his clients around, he is always working on his art. Oh, don't even get me started about that giant waste of time. <laughs> so that's what you're doing now, little bro? You're driving people around? What's so funny? <laughs> Let me paint a picture for you. I am a VP of a major corporation. Your brother is a best-selling author. You are a valet. Don't you see how that's kind of funny? Now, you know what? Maybe I should get you a copy of my book. You could learn to think it too, man. That's a great idea, Craig. I'm sure Drew could learn a lot from your book. And you know, there's a few chapters in there about relationships. Yeah. Maybe if you read it, you can actually get Holly to be your girlfriend. OK, you know what? That is enough. What is wrong with all of you? You're his family. Don't you care about how what you're saying is affecting him? Guess we know who wears the pants in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Even more reason Drew needs to read my book. You know what, Holly? You should read it too. I bet you'll love it. OK, listen here, Harvard. I'd rather get relationship advice from a fortune cookie than your worthless bestseller. And you're not fooling me with your smiling cover and your, like, fancy degree. And you're not fooling anyone either, Missy. Is this you? Is she your <gasps> daddy dating website? Are you investigating me? No, 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 no. You don't get to flip this around on me. Are you paying for her to be here? No, no, I, uh, sure. Drew. Do not lie to us. Wow. This is good. Not only are you insulting me, a doctor, you using men to fund your little shopping sprees? Aren't you going to say anything? What? Wait, no, Holly, wait. Well, we knew him bringing a girl here was just too good to be true. Too good to be true, ma. <laughs> Holly, Holly, please, please, wait, wait. I stood up for you, and you just sat there and watched them attack me. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that I didn't want to defend you. It's that I... I don't know how to stand up to my family. I've, n I've never even stood up for myself. You want to know why I've never shown my heart to anyone? It's because my family is constantly drilling into me that it's a waste of time and that it will never amount to anything. They, 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 they've, they've always called my dreams a joke. You know, like my mom, she constantly, she constantly makes me feel like, like no one will ever date me. And then my dad, he makes me feel like a failure. And then they both, they constantly compare me to my brother. It's been like that since I remember. You see, when we were kids, my parents were always so proud of Craig. The fridge was covered in his accomplishments. But when it came to anything I did, they never cared. They only focused on my weakness. My parents were always into the sports he'd play and the extracurriculars he did. Rather than 
caring about anything I was good at. All they do is rave about him. And as if things weren't already bad enough, after Cray got into Harvard, it got even worse. All the attention would be on him times 10. I, I remember constantly wondering why I wasn't good enough. So you see, it's been like that since I can remember. And I thought, I thought maybe bringing you here could change things. Why was I wrong? Just like my art. How can you possibly see your art as a failure? You know, I never even got into art school. Like, they never wrote me back after I applied. Okay. But besides that, has anyone other than your family ever told you your art is bad? No, I, I haven't shown anyone else. I thought about, you know, posting it online, but no. But <laughs> because you're worried about what the world would think? You're worried about your family? I mean, Drew. Do you have any idea how good this is? It's amazing. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Hey, when I first met you, you drew Zenitsu, right? You know anime? Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. I mean, to be honest, it's one of the things that interested me even more than your car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Zenitsu is a super talented and strong dragon slayer, right? Mm hmm. What's his character flaw? Um. He considers himself useless, mm -hmm. low self esteem. Yes. And that's just like you and your art. You're so talented, but you don't see it because of this narrative that your family has told you. That's why I think it's time for you to finally stand up for yourself. It's just as, as easier said than done. No, it's not. Why didn't you stand up for yourself when your boss told you you couldn't be a personal trainer? Yeah, maybe you're right. I should have. But we're talking about you right now. Would you rather spend the rest of your life worrying about your family's approval or going after your dreams? What are you doing? Posting about how amazing your artwork is on Instagram. If you're not gonna do it, I will. Oh. Check out how amazing my friend Drew's artwork is. Oh, please, please, please don't. Too late. I already posted it. Check it out. Mm. Oh, look. It's already got a comment. Mm. He's so talented. You got a gift, Drew. Don't waste it because you're worried about other people's approval. It's time for you to finally stand up for yourself because if you don't stand up for yourself in life, no one else ever will. Sometimes I wonder if he's even really our son. Oh, hey, little bro. I got a book for you, man, and I signed it. Consider it your Christmas present. And you may want to skip to chapter three. It's all about finding the right partner, not some cheap girl for hire. That's enough. I'm not going to let you talk to me and Holly like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holly and I speak proper English. You know, it's kind of ironic that you always want to give the world advice when your own marriage is in shambles. No, it's not. Bro, all you and Chloe do is argue. So you, you treat her more like your servant than your wife. Stop trying to sell this picture-perfect life to the world. In reality, it's just one big lie. Well, at least he doesn't have to pay for his girl to be here. 
You know, moving forward, son, I'm gonna find a very nice girl for you. Stop talking about Holly like that, Mom. You don't know her. Why would I trust you to play matchmaker? You're the one who pressured Craig into this unhappy marriage. Hey, watch your tone, son. I mean, you should talk. You drive people around for a living. When you become successful, then you get to give advice. Success, you, you having success does not mean having money, Dad. Like, you, you, you can't even put your phone down for more than five seconds to enjoy our Christmas Eve dinner. Working 24 seven is not success, Dad. It's prison. I knew you were gonna be ungrateful and let you waste your time in art school. Yeah, maybe we should have. What are you talking about? You weren't rejected from art school. We hid your acceptance letter because we didn't want you to waste your life with those silly doodles. Yet, you managed to do that anyway. Whoa. The only waste of time was coming here for dinner. You guys take care, all right? Holly and I are leaving. Come on, let's go, Holly. Drew. Hey, Drew, you want the book? Still? Hey. I am so proud of you for standing up for yourself. Thanks. Now it's your turn. Hey, Holly, once you get done cleaning, uh, make us some protein shakes, all right? Actually, you can make them yourself. Because I'm quitting. What? What's this? My resignation. I'm going to apply to this other gym that has lots of female trainers. Maybe they'll see my worth since you clearly can't. It's not Planet Fitness, is it? They've been taking all my clients. Taking my staff, too. Oh. Can't have them stealing my... Look, 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 just, just wait a second. Let's talk about this. Uh, please, don't, don't go. <clears throat> look, look, Holly, Holly. What's it going to take to make you stay? Please. So? So? Your plan worked. I got promoted to trainer. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and guess what? Thanks to you, check it out. I just got an offer to be a full-time animator at Disney. I guess they, they saw my art online ever since the Instagram's been growing, so they reached out and... Can you believe it? I didn't need art school after all. That's amazing, Drew. <laughs> You're gonna do incredible things. <laughs> Well, um, I gotta go. I gotta pick up my daughter. Uh, actually, I was, I was hoping I could come with you. I, I, I actually, uh, I got an early Christmas gift for her. I just wanted to give it to her. And, and if you guys aren't busy, maybe we could go out to dinner. And my treat, of course, just, you know, as a thank you for believing in me. I would like that a lot, actually. And we could split the check. You're not the only one with a new job. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. I'll send you the address. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. There, honey, it's okay. But mom, my marriage is over. My career is over. Everybody's gonna think I'm a big joke. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, son. Don't be a snowflake. Winners, don't cry. What? What? This when did Drew get 20,000 followers on his Instagram page? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rue. Happy birthday to you. I'm sorry, honey, but they couldn't make it. None of them? Oh, Elijah couldn't get the time off of work. Caleb missed his flight. And Jasmine, she has boyfriend troubles again. She's back with that Anthony guy again? Yeah. 
I was so excited about seeing the kids. It's all I've been thinking about these past few months. I know, but that doesn't mean that you and I still can't celebrate, right? You know how it is, kids these days, they're just too busy in their own lives. Too busy to see their own parents? I mean, I passed go. That's an extra $200 for me. Jasmine, it's your turn. Roll the dice. Boardwalk, yes. Ooh. You owe me $50. You only have fight. Well then, you better ask Elijah and Caleb to see if they can loan you the rest of the money. Nope. No way. It's my money. Mom, they won't give me any money. Can you just take this, please? Hmm. Only under one condition. If I get to tickle you for one minute straight. <laughs> what would you laugh for? It's the kids. Oh. Happy hey, birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Hi, Mom. Oh, I miss you guys so much. I was hoping to see you today. Sorry, we really wanted to be there, but we couldn't. But, but, promise we'll make it to your retirement party, Mom. Yeah, we can't wait to see you, Mom. We love you. I love you guys, too. All right, boom. Love you, Mom. Bye. Bye. What? That's it? It was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> Ruth, where are you going? Aren't you gonna have cake? I'm sorry. I just don't feel like celebrating Samuel. <sighs> hey, Ruthie. Look what I have here. Your final paycheck. You officially have all the time in the world after today. You can travel, vacation, you know, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Who to travel with? That's the question. Why don't you go with Samuel? He doesn't like to fly. When my kids were younger, mm, we travel everywhere together. Now, I can barely get 30 seconds on the phone with them. What about one of those retired mom's Facebook groups. I'm sure someone will want to go with you. <laughs> no. Well, we are all so excited to celebrate your, your retirement party next week. It's going to be so much fun. Hello? Yeah. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Yes. We'll be at the funeral next week. Yeah, thank, you, thank you for telling me. I'm so sorry. My friend from college, Marisol, she passed away. Oh. I am so sorry, Ruthie. I'm sorry. You know, when I was in my teens and 20s, I used to go to birthday parties all the time. In my 30s and 40s, it was weddings and kids' parties. Now, it's retirements and funerals. Hey, didn't you say your kids are coming to your retirement party? Well, if they show up. Otherwise, the next time they see me, it might be my funeral. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Today, we are here to say goodbye to my amazing mom. I can't help but to feel this overwhelming sense of regret. And if I could just, if I could just turn back time, I would. So, so I could hear her laugh and 
hold her hand and just and just be there with her. And I tried. I tried, but I just uh, I let life get in the way like we do. That I push too many phone calls. I miss too many birthdays, and I. I just let too many opportunities to spend time with my mom slip through my fingers. Now that she's gone, I finally realized just, just how precious life is and that we need to cherish every moment that we have with our loved ones because tomorrow might never come. I wish our kids could hear this. It's okay, honey. You'll see them tomorrow at the party. You know, uh, it is, it is true what they say. You never truly appreciate something until it's gone. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you so much. This is really so sweet. I'm sorry, honey, but they couldn't make it. It's okay. We're all here. Why don't you go ahead and take a seat, Ruth? You need some water? No, no, no. Somebody call an ambulance. It's her. Her vitals seem more stable, but we're still trying to figure out what happened. Is there any reason she would have stressed out? Sorry, doctor. Patient De La Cruz needs you. Oh. Okay. Hey, kids. Hey, hey, boss. Hey, is, um, is, is mom, mom okay? okay? How's mom? She's still sleeping. The doctor still doesn't know what happened. He did manage to say she's stable now. Oh, man. All right, thank God. You had me worried there. Yeah, I mean, we were about to fly out. I was about to get my ticket and everything. Do you, uh, you think we still need to come, Pops? Yeah, certainly wouldn't hurt. You know how your mom is. She misses you guys. But the doctor said she'll be okay? I think so. Okay, I'll try to come for Christmas. Right now it's just not the best time for me, honestly, Dad. Anthony and I are going through it. Yeah, my company is getting ready for FDA approval for this new medication we're releasing. So I'm going to be doing a lot of overtime. Yeah, Pops, honestly, uh, Christmas works better for me, too. But I'll, I'll call later to check on Mom, okay? See if she's okay. Bye, Pops. See you later. These kids. Excuse me. My sons were supposed to come see me. Are they here? I'm sorry, but you don't have any visitors. Gosh. What do I need to do? Die to get my kids to see me? Oh, You're still working? Yeah. Have you heard from your mom? No. Never heard anything since my dad said she was still at the hospital. That was a couple of days ago. Why don't you try calling her? I mean, just to make sure she's okay. Honey, can't you see I'm busy? I'll call later. I just can't believe you forgot our anniversary. It's almost like you don't even care about our relationship. Okay, first, listen, honey. It, uh, six months is not an anniversary. It's half a year. Let's be clear on that. Second of all, maybe you should communicate your expectations better instead of expecting me to read your mind. Or maybe you should be more romantic and not have me spell every single thing out for you. It, it's like you... I... <sighs> Oh. 
Dad. I can't believe she's gone. Yeah, yeah. I feel so horrible for not coming to see her. Hmm. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Well, you guys can say your goodbyes now. Open it, Caleb. I, I, I can't. Elijah, you're gonna have to open it up. You're the oldest. We'll do it together. On the count of three. One. One. Two. two three. three. Wait. Where's? It's so nice. You all finally came to see me. Mom, you're... With that, your, your funeral... I just didn't know how to get you to come and see me. I didn't want to wait until... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I just... No, no, Mom. We're sorry. This whole time, I couldn't help but think I, I can't believe I didn't go see you in the hospital. Or that, um, that I, that I missed your retirement party. Or, um, your birthday. We're all sorry. It's true what they say. You never really appreciate something until it's gone. I promise I'll do better. Yeah, yeah, me, me too, Ma. Huh? Same. Yes, free parking. <laughs> this is all mine. <laughs> oh. All right, Mom, go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, I own that. Pay up $175. You are a lot better at this game than you used to be. I still always beat you. Yeah, I'd hope so. I was a little kid back then. I only have $140. Hmm. I'll take it, but only if you let me take it. <laughs> 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 Of course you had to come. It's my company holiday party. Besides, there's someone I want to... There he is. Who? Let's see. Oh, could have spent a little more time on your hair, Priya. Mama, there's nothing wrong with my hair. And are you not wearing lipstick? Oh my goodness, let's see. Mama, you know I only like wearing gloss. And besides, why do you care anyway? Mama, please stop. I'm not gonna wear any lipstick. Uh, fine. Anyway, there's someone I want to introduce you to. Oh my God, you better not be trying to set me up again. I told you, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Uh, why not? When I was your age, I was already pregnant with you. Hello. Look, isn't he handsome and newly single? And the best part is, he makes a big six-figure salary. I know this because I'm in charge of reconciling the bank statements. Oh, wow, that's not creepy at all. Mama, I don't care how much money he makes. When my new app takes off, I'm gonna make more than any guy Come on this Come on, Priya. First it was acting, and now you want to build an app? What you need is a solid foundation. And the way to do that is to have a good husband who can take care of you. Wow. I'm out of here. Come, Priya. Hello, Mrs. Patel. Oh, oh hello, hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And remember, please call me auntie. This is my daughter Priya, the one I was telling you about. Oh, hi. It's nice to be you. Your mom talks about you all the time. Oh, does she? Arjun is the head of the engineering department. Your parents must be so proud. 
<laughs> yeah. They said uh, either engineer, doctor, or complete failure. And I can't stand the sight of blood, so I chose the only other viable option. <laughs> You're a good son, listening to your parents. Priya always listens to her mom, don't you, Priya? Mm-hmm, yeah. I heard about your engagement. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's honestly for the best. The only hard part is uh, no more home-cooked meals. <gasps> you don't have anyone to cook for you? I feel so bad for you. Uh, you know, why don't you come to our house for dinner? Priya is an excellent cook. She makes the best dosa. Really? I mean, I do love dosas. <laughs> Mama, you know that I don't... Oh, why don't you come tomorrow at 7 o'clock? Mm. Are you sure? I don't want to intrude or anything. You will never be intruding. You're like family. Please come anytime. Yeah, okay, sure. That sounds really great, actually. I look forward to it. I can't believe you told him I know how to cook when I can barely even make mac and cheese. A good wife knows how to cook. How else is her husband going to eat? I don't know, maybe he should learn how to cook for himself or even cook for his wife. <laughs> don't be silly. It's fine, I have plenty of time to teach you to cook before the wedding. What? What wedding? I barely even know the guy. Do you know how long your father and I knew each other beforehand? Two hours before our marriage. Okay, this isn't India, Mama. And I'm not even trying to date, let alone get married. I'm super focused on building my business right now. Priya, if you listen to me, you won't need to start any type of business. Arjun makes enough money to support both of you. Is that really what you think I want? For a man to support me? No, I want to make it on my own, not rely on some guy. He's here. Okay, don't talk about any of this kind of stuff in front of him. Okay, wear this. Ew, no, why? Hello. Oh, hello, auntie. Hi. Oh, these are for you. Oh, thank you, Veda. Thank you, oh. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, come in. We are just got done cooking. Oh, okay. Hey. Hi. C come, have a seat. Thank you. Get ready to have the best dosa you've ever tasted. I can't wait. Please don't let my mom fool you. I had nothing to do with making any of this. To be honest, I... Kind of had a feeling. Maybe she didn't make the whole thing, but she did help a lot. Here you go. Mm, this looks incredible. The chutney. Here you go. Thank you. So, Priya, tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? Uh, I'm actually kind of boring, to be honest, but I've been super focused on building this new app. Really? An app? Wow. Yeah, um, how it works is that it's like kind of a... But yeah, let's not talk about this little idea of yours. I keep reminding her that she needs to concentrate on more important things in life, like building a family. You know, once she has kids, she won't have time for all this. You know careers are important too, Mama. Not as important as marriage. Right, Arjun? Well, I, I think being fulfilled is what's important, right? Whether that's through family or... A business. See? Your silly little app isn't a career. It could be. Priya, you're embarrassing us in front of our guest. Oh, not at all. Actually, I'd be interested in hearing more about what you're working on. Really? Yeah. Give me your elevator pitch. Um, okay. So basically, it's like a ride-sharing app, but just for women, you know, to make transportation safer. And I'm gonna call it Safe Her. That's brilliant. Yeah, I actually have an old college friend up in Silicon Valley that might be interested in hearing something like that. Have you met with any VCs yet? No, I haven't actually, uh, but I'm still developing the UI, so after that, I think I'm gonna... Uh, Ria, it's rude to keep talking about yourself. Let's talk about our guest, Arjun. It's my fault, I asked. Why can't you ever be more supportive? I've invited this lovely boy here, and all you can do is keep talking about some app. How can I support that? Some app? You know how important this is to me. 
Since Arjun has been here, he hasn't even taken a bite of his food. It is getting cold now. Let's talk later and eat now. Why do you always have to undermine everything that I do or say or want to? Priya, stop talking back. A traditional Indian girl talks less and listens more. Wow, really? Well then, I'm sorry I couldn't be the traditional Indian girl you wanted me to be. Priya, where are you going? I'm sorry about that. I don't know what got into her. You eat, I'll be right back, okay? Why did you leave? You're making such a bad impression. So? I don't need to impress anyone. I just want to be myself. And I hate how you're always trying to push your values on me. It's because I know what's best for you, Priya. After your father passed away, you know how hard things got for us. I work so hard every day and we can hardly afford this small place. I don't want you to struggle like this too. Then shouldn't you be teaching me not to rely on a man, but to chase after my own dreams? Dreams don't come true in real life, Priya. Trust me. But if you were with Arjun, you wouldn't have to worry. I wouldn't have to worry about you. Your whole life would be set. So please, come back out there with me. I'm sorry, but no. I can't lead someone on when I'm not interested. I don't care how much money he makes. I just want to focus on myself and what I'm doing. Priya, I... Mama, I've already made up my mind. You are making a huge mistake, Priya. And one day, you will regret it. We'll see. Priya's sad that her mom doesn't believe in her, but at the same time, she knows that she has to follow her dreams. She puts in a lot of hours working on her app, starting with drawing all of the design concepts by hand. Over time, she teaches herself how to code and is even able to come out with her very first beta app. She begins to pitch her concept to different investors. At first, she's so excited to talk about her app. But that excitement quickly starts to fade when she gets told no over and over again. She almost feels like giving up. That is, until she meets someone that finally says yes. Of course, it didn't hurt that she had the right introduction. A couple of years go by, and it turns out Priya's silly little idea worked. Her business is booming, and she becomes a really successful CEO. And then a while later, Priya's mom comes to pay her a visit at her new place. Hi! Hi, Priya. Come. Thank you. Wow, is this your new place? Yeah, not bad, right? Oh, not at all. Come. Oh, thanks. Wow. Oh. Oh my goodness, you learned how to make dosa? I can't believe this. I actually didn't make those. Oh, then who did? Auntie, how are you? Arjun? Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, well, Priya and I are. Um, we're dating, but don't get too excited. We're taking things kind of slow. Oh. Ay, Rabba, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Now it explains it. I was wondering how my little Priya could afford this place by herself. Oh, well, I had nothing to do with that. It was all Priya. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just in charge of the dosas. 
They're not as good as yours, but you should try a bite. You made these dosas? But uh, isn't that Priya's job? Well, Priya handles all the bills. And I handle everything else. It actually works out quite nicely that way, especially considering how much more successful she is than I am. This? Wow, I... I can't believe this. It's not so bad for a silly little idea, huh? I hope you're proud of me. So, so proud. Arjun? Yeah? Go get the chutney. Let's try these dosas of yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs>